Hey, what's up guys? This is Andrew, and today I'm going to show you how to make taking a photo on your Android device completely hands-free. Now, we're going to be doing this using Whistle Camera, so it's not going to be using the default camera that comes on your phone. So, all you have to do is open up Whistle Camera. You can download that for free from Google Play. And now, anytime you whistle when the camera's open, it will automatically take a picture. So, just go. It'll pick up the whistle, and it'll take a photo right away. Now, this does also work with a front-facing camera. Now you can also set up a timer either with the front or back facing camera. Just go to the timer up top and then just set it to whatever you want. It goes all the way up to 10 seconds or just have nothing at all. In, your, in the settings for the app, you also you can select your default language, your picture resolution. I have mine just maxed out. And then the whistle detection sensitivity. So pretty much three is the highest sensitivity and one is the lowest. So if you don't know how to whistle or you just can just make a blowing sound, just set it to one. And you'll be able to, um, it'll pretty much just pick up anything. And, you can, and also, they have a countdown sound when you have the countdown enabled. I just turn that off because you get pretty annoying, especially if you're in a crowded area and you don't want people to be staring at you. Um, the default folder that it stores it in is in, right next to your camera, your default camera folder on your internal storage. So just, um, you could always change that up or you could just leave it to two different ones depending on your preference. There's also a default gallery that comes with it. Um, I don't really use it that much because it does have ads in it, but you can also just, if you tap edit, you would also edit it with any other photo editor on your phone. Yeah, and that's pretty much it for Whistle Camera. It doesn't really have much else with it. It doesn't have any kind of filters or anything special like that. But you could always just edit your photos that you take with it on another photo editing app. Be sure to check out the full guide linked in the description below. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.